This is the first of a series of videos demonstrating new features of the latest release of ALICE 3, currently available at the website www.alice.org. This update was released on Friday, March 7, 2014. In this video, I will demonstrate how a student might view the Java representation of the ALICE code they are creating in the ALICE code editor environment. This is a feature we believe instructors will find useful for classroom demonstrations and students will find helpful as they learn Java. With this latest release of ALICE 3, there is now a new setting in Preferences Java code on the side. Selecting this preference opens another panel in the code editor. This panel displays the Java representation of the Alice code in the editor panel. Because this is an empty world and the editor is open to my first method tab, we see the Java method, my first method, in the Java display panel. If we open a world, the Java display panel will show the Java representation of the Alice code. If we decide to look at a different method in the Alice editor, the Java display will change appropriately. If we move code around in the Alice editor, the Java display will also change appropriately. If we add new code to our editor, the Java display will update as the new code is added. This would include our control structures, such as the count loop. It should be noted that I cannot do any editing in the display panel. I can't drag tiles into it. They will end up in uh, the Alice editor. I cannot change values. I can, however, copy and paste the code that is in the Java display for perhaps including in quizzes or exams or as part of PowerPoint slides and presentations. I think you will find this feature very useful if you are preparing your students to learn the Java programming language.